It's an excellent ski bag idea. There's some block here. Oh my goodness, it's like the old Jackie Gleason days. When <laughs> <laughs> Here's some. Uh, this is what we do. We go into a resort <clears throat> and we give away thousands of dollars worth of items from the ski world. Yeah. What is this? That's a uh, lip protector. Lip protector. Wine cooler, it says here. Yeah. Well, we wine, you know, skiers synonymous. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> they don't go for the bubblegum flavor too much, though. So. Well, what do you put that on your little tiny lips? On right? your little tiny lips, or your mm. <laughs> keeps you kissing the sweet. Mm. Okay, we'll work on it. <laughs> Lee Canyon is one of our, well, it's our only ski resort uh, as far as close proximity to Las Vegas, about 45 minutes away, which is kind of unusual to be in the middle of the desert and have uh, and the alpine of the world up there. And uh, Marcel is, runs a ski school up there. Marcel, he was telling me there's a little bit of snow up there right now, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, last week or the beginning of March, mm -hmm. we got two good storms and they put us into business. And finally. Finally. Day. Goodness, we've been waiting long enough for it. You know, every area in the, in the whole United States, these girls have been telling me they've been traveling from one area to the other. It doesn't look very good anyway. No. Are you girls going to take an opportunity maybe to go up and visit Marcel at Lee Canyon? We had a little invitation. I, we would be interested. <laughs> yeah, that I'd sure. be. Yeah. You should. It's out there. I, th I think the, the thing I like about going up there, I'm not a skier myself, unfortunately. And maybe I can get into it one of these days. We but can help you. Can you help? <laughs> well, if you ladies will help me, I'll, I'll, I will go into a crash course right away. But the thing I, the re it's remarkable to me is the, the complete difference of climate and terrain and topography and the whole thing up there. Now, you guys are making some improvements, so I'm going to try to hold this up for you, Steve, over there. I hope I get it right. If you'll look at the monitor, Marcel, and, and tell us what we're seeing here. Are we okay? I... Well, <clears throat> what you're seeing now is really a plan, uh, a master plan that has been submitted by the management of the Lee Canyon ski lift mm -hmm. to the U.S. Forest Service, and it has been submitted last June. And uh, as you can imagine, it takes a while for that to go through. But if uh, it gets approved, and when it gets approved, this uh, would be what the future of Lee Canyon. Would look in like the next that. 10 or 20 years. Now, maybe. How many runs do you have up there right now? Well, I don't know. Let this part roughly uh, 10 runs altogether. So, with this improvement, there'll be more runs? Is that the yeah, idea? There'll be also more lifts. There'll be all chairlifts. There'll be mm -hmm. four chairlifts, where now we only have one chairlift. And they'll be longer. Some of the chairlifts will be long. So, you're planning on, um, I guess, the, the ski industry as a whole probably becoming more popular than it oh, is absolutely. even today? It, it's already a big difference now than from 10 or 20 years. One of the fast, fastest growing sports in the U.S. right now. And it's, you know, a lot of people, I think, hesitate to get involved because they think it's so expensive. But really, I mean, it can be economical as well. I mean, you don't have to buy a, a thousand-dollar ski outfit. I mean, you can go and leave us. There's and ski swaps. There are some fantastic sales going on right now. Right now, sales. you can you can spend as much or as little as you really need if you just watch the uh, ad sales. Yeah. What I, resorts have? I've got to know how you got the name Rodeo Ramsey. <laughs> I earned it. Uh, I, that's kind of a leading question, I suppose. I barrel race. I was an actual certified rodeo queen and barrel racer and, uh, through high school and college. And uh, when I moved to, we're from Squaw Valley, and I went to school in Reno. <clears throat> it's just a nickname. Everybody's got nicknames. Just stuck. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Well, I guess rodeo is better than barrel. Yeah, that would. <laughs> they could have said, this is Barrel Ramsey. People don't forget it, though. So. But uh, you girls must uh, be busy all the time. I mean, you try to take time out to actually ski, and then you're on your promotional tours, and you've got to meet with people and go on television like you are right well, now. Well, somebody's got to do it is the way I look at it. Oh, it's such a... <laughs> I mean, what a sacrifice you're making for humanity, right? Yes, actually, it's a great sport. It is. It is. It's fantastic. People that ski obviously know that it, you get addicted to the sport, and it, our job, our desire is to promote the sport of skiing and of course the products that go with it you need to protect your skin you need to wear nice clothes mm -hmm. you know, uh, the areas it's it's fantastic we do get to ski that is our job skiing and promoting a, a good Mar time and let me direct this question to Marcel if I may you say you run the ski school up there what uh, I'm, I, if I go up there this afternoon and I want to learn how to ski what are you going to do with me well, send me back down the mountain. Probably. We'll give lessons every day at 11 and 2, plus uh -huh. the private, le private lessons throughout the day. I see. So if you were to come up there... I mean, what uh, I'm saying is, as a beginner... As a beginner? Yeah. We'll take you down to the flattest slope, which we call the bunny slope, uh -huh. and we'll just show you the basics on, uh, for a beginner, which would be walking, stepping, how to 
get up after. It's hard for me to do that without skis. <laughs> it's not that difficult. As a matter of fact, you'd be surprised how much you learn in two hours. In really? two hours, most everyone comes down making rather nice little, what we call, snow pile wedge turns. I, I don't control. know anything about the terms or anything, but I'm anxious to get up there and... Uh, you should. I would have a good time. I probably do well. You do, have, you do have the traditional lodge up there with the fireplace and the hot buttered rum that's and all right, that. That's I'm right. accomplished at that. I and can always good that. looking girls around that ski. You never fail uh, to be inspired in the ski area. <laughs> I think as soon as we finish this show, I'm going up to Lee Canyon. <laughs> girls, thank you very much. Kay Chandler, Rodeo Ramsey, much uh, success to your son, Gear thank Promotional you. Ski thank Team. You and anytime you're in town, please drop by again, will you? I'd love to. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. You're so delightful. Marcel, I'll see you up at Lee Canyon real soon. And, so. and I, I suggest that most of our viewers do the same thing. If, you, if you're not into skiing, if you want to try to learn more about it, then Marcel is the main man here in the Las Vegas area to talk. And don't forget, go to Safeway and help support the Association of Retarded Citizens. It's a very worthwhile cause, and uh, they need your help. And you can get a T-shirt for 10 bucks. okay? We'll see you Monday morning. Let's go skiing. Bye-bye. You've been watching Page 5, a live production of TV5. We cordially invite you to start your mornings off right weekdays at 8.30 with Page 5.